even the dead change. Laughs are great, don't get me wrong, but sometimes even the dead must mourn. There are things I always dreamed of turned to dust on the furniture that I cannot touch any longer. People I always meant to interact with left strangers by my disinclined passing glances, but they didn't do this to me. The living are not responsible for the dead, but they tend to be forgetful. They take it upon themselves to speak for me, to knot the ends of their own frayed nerves just because I haven't the voice to butcher their claims to deli meat, and that is comfort to them. They are not responsible for us, but they are not guiltless in their folly. It is not unusual to see the departed taken advantage of, being avenged for crimes against them, their love distributed like food to the starving, framed for pain never dealt with a downy hand, taken as excuse for the action we haven't pardoned. I would have the living justify themselves to me, but they do not know justice from their own tongue. The dead who have been wronged by flesh are now untouchable. The living need not fight for the invincible. If some do not know of the gone's love, maybe it was not theirs in the first place. You cannot blame the dead for all the wrongs, no matter how many grieving diagrams tell you so. We cannot defend ourselves. So when you speak for us, know that we always have something to add that you cannot say. You are not kind. You are not helpful. You are suffocating. But you can't kill us twice, no matter how great the guilt.